Well, I'm happy to say that looks like it's fixed. Finally, after 18 months, I'm going for a fly and we're going to see how good the audio is. I've got a few more videos to film. Those videos I filmed the other day, but those videos were destroyed by the poor audio quality as a result of this, well, it's called an earth loop, isn't it? The shield was connected at both ends on the wire between the intercom and the radio. Uh, and the radio went to ground and the intercom went to ground. So there you go. Traffic, Mark Light 6340, lines up, rolls, runway 35 for a uh, local flight, Maribor. Do a quick run up. One, two, three, radio is wor uh, recording's working, we're rolling. A little bit of rotor off the trees, a bit of a crosswind takeoff. Isn't that clean? Audio sounds so clean. There's a lot of noise on my phone still. I can see the waveform. But that's all engine noise, I would say, and wind noise. We've established 600. Ferry Lower Traffic, Microlight 6340 is airborne runway 35. Straight out departure of Harvey Bay. Flying through 800 for 1000. Ferry Lower Traffic. Well, welcome to another video. Once uh, in the past, we did a video, I had a friend in the back seat actually, and we did a full stall for about one minute, probably 30 seconds to a minute, didn't measure it in time actually. Fully stalled to see how fast I would descend. No power, just descending. And um, then I also went as fast as I could go. Now we're talking about Air speed, we're not talking about ground speed, and I'll probably be doing this into wind, um, but I'll be trying to trim the aircraft for, uh, I'll be hands off um, trim for level flight at, at whatever power it takes maximum speed, and without climbing or descending, of course. So here we go, we're going to commence. First of all, we're going to go as fast as I can go. So, I've got to set it up, I've got to start accelerating, and then I'm going to drop the pitch uh, lower the nose, which is about, that's it there, and what's my vertical speed doing? I'm level, I'm going damn fast, I can't keep it, I've got pitch oscillation actually, that's not good. Um, no, it's probably just me, but I've now got 80 knots. I'll let the wind come back a bit. It doesn't like it in this wind though. It's a little bit turbulent, so any little bump or anything. So I'm doing 84 knots at the moment, and hopefully you can see that on the gauges. That's airspeed, 84 knots airspeed. Now if I pull a bar in, of course I can go faster. And we're now doing 90 knots, uh, but we're not straight level to be honest. Too windy, too windy for me, too windy for trike flying. Can't do that all day. Blowing my helmet off. Alright, so we'll come back to level. I'm going to pitch up again. Trim the nose up, about there. And this time I'm going to hold the bar fully forward. See how slow I can go without losing any altitude. And then we're going to try stalling. Holding a stall. Here we go. So. 
power off. Got to hold it. Okay, I've got to go as slow as I can without stalling. So I've got to not lose altitude. So at the moment I'm doing 45 knots. Hopefully you can see that on the gauges. Slow down with power. Okay, we've got 40 knots there. And I'm not losing any altitude. 42, 40, 42, holding 42. I can get the bar further forward yet, but that's 40, holding 40. It's very poor to manoeuvre, as you would expect. I'm losing altitude though now, so I'm probably stalling. So let's bring it out of that, because I think it's stalling, so. 42, 42 knots is the slowest I could go. What happens though if I hold it in a stall? How fast do I descend? Well, I've just done that in a previous video or an upcoming video. One of the two. It'll be called um, Ascent. Ascent. Will that really show us? Traffic truck 6340 enters, lines up, rolls, runway 12.